Oh, sorry, go back. <laughs> so this, <laughs> so the cover letter is 101. Uh, and um, I'm gonna be giving a, present, a presentation on this. So, so what is a cover letter? Um, a cover letter is, uh, a cover letter works together with your resume to introduce you to potential employers. It serves as a starting point for, for a potential phone conversation or in-person interview. A cover letter is an important way to showcase your skills and experience meet the key requirements of the job description that meet the key requirements of the job description. Uh, it's an opportunity to demonstrate your written communication skills while you're meeting, while you're letting them know why you're the right person for this job and introducing yourself. Always include a cover letter with your resume and not be requested, but it is implied. Uh, sometimes it will also, um, you'll, an application will be um, put aside if it doesn't have a cover letter included. So it's always um, implied. So how to format a cover letter. So a cover letter is a standard business letter and the format does not vary. Uh, cover letters are always single page. Applicants who do not stick to a single page are often dismissed immediately for not meeting the standards. Uh, maintain a consistent look with your resume and your cover letter. Um, why? Sorry, I'm having problems here. And use the same header and formatting as your resume. Uh, this is an example of uh, the formula. So basically, a cover letter is a formula. There's the formula to writing one. It's a business letter above here. So this is what you you need. These are the the elements that you need to have and components that you have to have in your in a cover letter. And then this is the body of what you were of your cover letter of what you're writing of the content. So the first paragraph is an introductory paragraph. The second is uh, you're talking about your skills. And then the third, uh, why you want to work for them specifically, and then your closing paragraph. And then you want to sign it and make sure that you type, you sign it, you type your name um, and put your enclosures with, so that you've enclosed your resume with it as well, your one page resume. Uh, addressing your cover letter. The following is required formatting for addressing a business letter. So you need your full name, address, phone, email, website, or link to your online portfolio. Um, you want to make sure that if you are going to put your phone number down, that you can receive messages on your um, on your answering machine. So that's a good thing. If you can't, then really, I wouldn't even put your phone number down, but you have to have an email. You have to have some way of connecting uh, for them to connect with you. Um, also, uh, make sure that there's no typos in this and that it's correct, because um, that happens, right? So, uh, the date, it's important for noting when you submitted your application, make sure that it's under, uh, the, they can note that it, you met the deadline. And then the contact person. Um, Oh, I don't know why, what's going on here. Sorry about that. The contact person, their title, the company name, address, uh, you can address it, you know, they're either their full name or Ms. Carr or Mr. Carr. Um, and then you also want to include in here, um, I'm trying to, sorry, just give me one second here. I can't see my screen because the grid is, uh, it's too small. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Okay, so the dear, so then you, and then you also want to make sure that you have a re, um, you're referencing either job not, num, number or the job title that you're applying for. Then your cover letter recipient. This is important to uh, make sure that you find the direct person that you want that you're applying to so who's going to be on the hiring committee who you'll be reporting to that type of person so you want to be able to you want to address your cover letter to that person whenever possible so um that way it improves improves your chances of the materials being seen by the correct person 
Uh, if you're unsure who to address the letter to, uh, check the posting on or online. Sometimes recruiters or human resources professionals are listed by name in the posting. Professional networking sites such as LinkedIn may also offer clues to who might review your resume. Uh, call or email the company and ask who the hiring manager is or head of HR is. Uh, also do a Google search or, or you know, search, do an internet search to find out who you might be either working for or who would be on the hiring committee or who the head of HR is and avoid uh, using to whom it may concern instead use if you can't so if you can't find um, a contact person then at least address it to hiring manager or selection committee so this is your introduction who you are and what the position you're applying to your relationship to them introduce yourself and identify that you are applying for a specific position it is important to let them know that what position you're applying for is sometimes they'll have multiple positions available. Where you found the position posted or if you have been referred to apply by an individual, identify them in this paragraph. So what's important about that is when say you've been referred, you know, somebody that works at the company or um, is a professional colleague of the individual that you're applying to, applying for a position with, um, if they, if you have a name, then it's almost, it's a, it's the beginning of a reference almost like you were referred to apply. So it is, it's, it, it helps boost your, um, uh, position with the ability to maybe get this position because it's all almost working as a mini reference. So, which is great. Um, Explaining one or two concise statements why you are a match for the position. For example, due to my combined education experience, I believe I'm an excellent candidate for this position. And you are. So what will you contribute? So this paragraph, so why you? So what will you contribute? What's relevant about you to them? Here you wanna demonstrate how your skills and experience match the job requirements and impress upon the reader why you are the best person for the job. So highlight the relevant parts of your resume that most qualify you for the position. Choose skills that match or closely relate to those in the job description. So go through your job description and highlight those, and highlight those in your cover letter as you would with your resume. Cite specific examples that demonstrate what you, what you would be bringing to the employer. What unique strengths do you have and how can they be utilized in this role? And then we're gonna get into paragraph three. So why them? Why you like them? What's relevant about them to you? So you, an employer will be impressed that you've done your homework on them. So doing that research, it demonstrates to them that you actually care about the job and you care and you, you've taken the time to learn about the company, the person or the position um it's it's great to do that so the other th research the company using their website and take notes of projects or ideals that you're imp you're impressed with and make note of those in your cover letter mention a few examples of and share why you see yourself fitting in at their company specifically in this role and how well this fits with your practice of all the jobs, people, companies out there, why do you want to work with them? So really stress this. This is almost, um, uh, this is, it, it's wooing them as well because every they want to know that you care about what they're doing as well. So it's, um, it's good to do this. So. so the why you and the why them paragraphs are interchangeable. And like I said, this is a formula and we'll get to that further along. I have an example and I'll show you a, a sample cover letter and uh, we'll go through it and I'll show you how it's for, how this formula works. So the paragraph of four is the closing. So you're gonna have your thanks, your enclosures, contact, website, next step. So close by thanking the prospective employer for their time and consideration. Uh, mention enclosure, enclosures such as your resume or your portfolio samples and or direct them to your website or online portfolio. 
clearly request an interview and tell the reader how to contact you. And I know a lot of people are um, uncomfortable doing that. It seems presumptuous, but it isn't. Just It's just being assertive, it's being clear. And all you need to say is, I look forward to discussing this opportunity further and I can be contacted to schedule an interview by either email or phone. So it's very clear that you're applying for a position and not just requesting information about their company or, you know, it, it shows an assertiveness, so it's good. Restate your email and telephone number. Don't simply tell the reader to see above as this creates an unnecessary extra step for them. And finally, and I can't stress this enough, and finally, proofread before sending. Uh, get your, ask your friends, your family, your classmates, the writing center, or us in the career development to take, looks, take a look for typos, grammatical errors, etc. cetera. Um, this is, I can't stress it enough, how important it is to, to get it to proofread. And I honestly, uh, Ghislaine and Jeff and I don't mind at all if you want to, uh, well, you know, email Ghislaine or myself, and we're happy to take, you know, the you know, five or 10 minutes it is just to look it over before you send it in. So um, I, we're happy to do that. And that's what part of the, are the services that we provide at MLA Car. So uh, I'm gonna go through a sample cover letter for you right now, and I'll show you how this formula works. So as you can see here, I've, I've got my title up here, Shannon McKinnon, and I put everything, uh, I've got my address and how to contact me is all above and my, a link to my portfolio. I found the person that I'm applying to, I've addressed it to them, their title, uh, the name of their company, address, the date I'm applying for, because say I want to get a summer internship, so I'm applying April 18th. <laughs> I guess it would be 2021, not 2020. Uh, dear Miss Lowenstein, so this is the introduction paragraph. I'm working, uh, so I'm just going to read through this. I'm writing to inquire about working with you this summer as a photography intern, which I saw a post on arts work. I'm currently pursuing my BFA with a major in photography at Emily Carr University of Art and Design. I believe my professional, educational, and personal experience with photography, film, and video make me an excellent candidate for this position. And I know working alongside so, along someone with your invaluable wealth of expertise like yourself would be an exciting opportunity for me, both as a photographer and as an aspiring entrepreneur. So there's your introduction. And we, whoops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, and I've changed it up here. I've put why them first. So after exploring your website, seeing your work, I am immediately drawn not only to your photographic style, but your wide variety of subjects with whom you work. I'm interested to learn more about your artistic approach and your process on capturing that perfect image. I would be fascinated to see how you scout locations and choose environments in which to depict the artists, the musicians you are photographing would also be fascinating to witness. So that's the why them. So now we get into the why you. So let me share some of my experience I feel would be most relevant to this internship through previous internships with working photos and Lazar studios. I have had experience assisting in professional photo shoots there I assisted with location scouting, setting up lighting, social media marketing, researching uh, and archiving images. I am very comfortable using Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom and Lightroom to process and retouch. And then we've got our closing. Thank you for taking the time to review my application. I can be contacted to schedule an interview by email at blah, 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 Shannon McKinnon, uh, our call. I look forward to discussing a potential internship experience with you at your earliest convenience. My resume is attached to for your consideration and my for portfolio can be viewed online by visiting portfolios at equia.ca. And then I have sincerely, I don't know if you can see this, somehow it looks like it's blocked itself out. Sincerely, I've signed it and then I've typed my name down below. So that is how to write a cover letter. 
uh, we can, I can, I'm happy to share these slides with you. We can, um, uh, if you want to email uh, Jeff uh, at co-op at ecuad.ca, we can mail them, we can email those out. Um, for those of you that uh, missed the beginning of this presentation. Um, and if you have any questions, um, you know, let's, uh, is there any questions that anyone has? And thanks for joining us today. Okay, please stop recording, Jeff. <laughs>